Hi, Carol here, and thank you so much for joining me once again. And I am going to do what I promised to do yesterday, and that is a demonstration on the bow at all. Then I am going to move on and do the uh, beautiful five petal roses with the vellum. I may get that in right now. I'm going to quickly move along with this video, but I wanted to show you a little haul that I got today. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> this morning I actually went out and, oh, I thought I had to stop by the place where my cards are and she had a big sale going on, so I picked up some beautiful uh, magnolias and a big uh, bronze bird cage she had. I put it downstairs in my living room. Uh, that's what I got today. And then I was thrilled, thrilled, thrilled to get my Lindy Stamp Gang. I'm going to begin that project. So for now, I'll just show you a few things that I got. When I was cut off my video, I'll just jump right in there. What I was showing you is I have um, this glue gun. I really like it. It has a stand on it. But the thing that I don't... Uh, I'm getting ready to do some projects so it's hot. Um, I... Sometimes you can't get in the little nooks and crannies because of the large end at the top. And so I went on the jewel box and I ordered this small one. And it's a 20 watt little uh, Sure Bonder. It has an off and on switch. And look at that nice metal point on there for getting into detailed projects. So, hey Jules, I really liked this. And it has this um, actually just like our mat for putting glue on our glue mat it has a little round one here and then you just lay this right like that I guess you'd lay it like that so if it drips it goes on there so I got that from her and I wanted to just share a couple of things that um, before I get on to this bow at all uh, I'm looking for hardware now because I'm doing a lot of mixed media stuff and um, so I like to when I'm in the thrift stores I'm just grabbing a few things that I got in uh, in the mail today Yahoo I love that mail um, I'm just gonna lay it here if I can I just wanted to show you that I should have had it ready for you but um, I guess this is going to turn into another haul. And let's just see here. Okay. So what I look for is stuff for mixed media, of course. And I'm going to set this right here for now. So I was on eBay, like I said, and every day I keep getting a couple of packages. And this was my... Uh, today's packages I got the this is a double stamp and I'm not really sure I'm gonna try it how this works it is from EK success and let me grab a piece of cardstock oh this is my 110 pound cardstock but I'll use it so let's see how this looks I thought it was pretty on there Oh, that's nice. You can kind of cut around. Oh, I like this. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So that's the negative part of it. I like that. And then you end up getting this little tag, which is nice. And then uh, yesterday I showed you how I got the tag punch off of uh, eBay. Our tag one there. Well, it comes with a stamp set that I ordered, the matching stamp set, and I got it today somewhere right here. And wherever I ordered it from threw in some snowflakes. That was nice. Let me just see here. So this was in the mail. Nice surprise. And look at this. You just, uh, it has this one with the little flowers. It has these little filigree type things. Then you can stamp all of your, uh, punch out all of your tags and colors. 
because it has the full Stampin' Up flat image. And then it has uh, twirlies here where you can write on the tag exactly what you have. Let me turn it this way. Isn't that a beautiful Stampin' Up set? So I ended up being able to purchase this. Um, look at those there. I really like it. Oh, I like the fact that she cut them all out so that the ink doesn't show there. So I got that today. And then um, I ordered uh, this from Spellbinders. It came today. And isn't that a beautiful flat die, a small die? It's a gate. And I thought this would be nice because you could use the ends of it here as candles. Right there for a birthday. Just cut it off. Or you can use the middle in here, the top. I mean, it has so many possibilities. The gate can open. Really nice, nice die. So I got that today. And then while I was out uh, thrifting, I had to stop at the second hand store today. And uh, this was uh, $2. I'm just taking the tag off. And I, you know how you fill up your card? I get these cards. So I had two cards filled up for $10 free products. So I had $20 of free product today. So that was nice. Um, I got a piece, uh, some milk, a big milk glass lamp. I used it. And then this is from Studio K. I'm not quite sure, but it was $2 and that seems fair. I don't know what's in it. I don't know why I took the price tag off there because I'm going to take it all apart. I guess I'm so used to doing that. Let me see what this is. Oh, isn't that sweet? Look at it for $2. You open up the tin and it has... Um, oh, this is going to make a cute little album. Look at it. Oh, it is. That's what this is. I get it. You, it already has the tape on the back. Look at that. I, I just want to see if this is all the way down. Okay. And then you put it down in your, like this, in the tin, and then it just folds over. Look at, or this way, which I would do it that way. There you go. That is really pretty with the pinks. Oh, I'll do that as a gift. And then I guess this is the whole set to, um, it has letters and all kinds of uh, goodies in there. Tags. This is a good $2 find. I love that. Look at the papers. This is really nice. Well, look at that one. Okay. So that was at my thrift store today. I call it my thrift store, but it is. I go there all the time. And so that was that. Oh, let's put this away. Then I'm going to show you that. Uh, I am going to get around to that whole thing, so I have to watch my time. I love this, and it's a, it's a nice gift. That's really pretty. I'm going to pull this back just a bit. There we are. Okay, so I got that in that little haul. And then what I thought was really nice, I wanted to share this. Oh, uh, my friend that I was going to do a necklace, remember from my video, uh, the JL from my uh, pop top cans, my pop can, actually they're bottle tops. Well, it's finished. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. And what I did, I'm actually wearing it. I am going to give this to her on a bracelet. So this is the bracelet I bought at Walmart this morning. I'm already wearing it and it's got diamonds and chain intertwined in the uh, two types of uh, thickness of chain. I just loved it and then it has one of these locks that go, you know, you just slide in and then it had the nice gray and I'm going to add this right there. I got to get out my um, um, that machine that makes the holes there. My big yellow chomper. 
and chop a hole in there. And then her gift, I'll get it off in the mail. Isn't that a, oh, get it over here. Isn't that a beautiful bracelet? So I'm going to make some more of those. I bought up three more of these this morning so that I could give some as gifts. And then I bought some, these were on for $3.50 a package. So I thought I'd make a nice necklace. And this is nice necklace in here. I thought I'd intertwine them too for a bracelet. So I got those this morning. And this is just, I'm just showing you stuff you can look for. Uh, at Walmart, this is where I get my um, double-sided tape. And it's $1.27. And you get, this is the half inch. And I every time I stop at Walmart, I pick one of these up. So today's day was a half inch, and then I get the quarter inch. But I have so many over there, I don't really, didn't want to get too much more. So I got that, and then I, look at this. This was my nice goodie bag, 25 cents. And I got this gorgeous linen doily. Looks like windmills on there. Isn't that pretty? Look at all of this doily. It was in the bag. And then I got some embroidery thread. And somebody had already started this uh, doily. Look at this. And I got three feet of it for 25 cents with this doily and some in this uh, celery bag. You never know what's in those bags. You have to look. Yikes, this was a good find. So I'll put this in my uh, vintage box doilies. And then I thought I'd just share with you when you're out looking around. Uh, I saw that my husband in the truck, he had a coffee. And on the outside of the coffee to keep his hands from getting burned, they put one of these um, holders, you know, so you're, you've got your coffee like this. So he was about to throw it out and I said, don't throw that cup out. I want this. And I'm going to use, look at it's got little diamonds in there. I don't know where he got his coffee from. I think it was A&W. Because when I was at A&W with my girlfriend last week, um, we ordered our order. And the girl was so nice to us. She came over and said, I'd like to give you each a, um, an apple pie on the house. I mean, is that sweet? And they were in this. This is what they were in. These little bags. Look at these brown sacks. I'm going to make a mini album out of these. They're just beautiful. And they are five and a quarter inches by four. So I asked her if I could have some more. So she gave me one, six of them. So I'm gonna do a project with these. So when you're out, just keep your eye open for stuff like that at um, you know fast food places. I thought that was a really good find. And then I, um, Wow, this has nothing to do with... Well, I guess it does. Uh, I got a beautiful pair of uh, shoes. said $124.95 on it, and I got them for $12. That was a good deal. Then I found this top here for $3, right there. And it's too small for me, <laughs> but I want it for all of this, the jewels all the way around it. Now, you're not going to be able to get all these jewels if you bought them separately for $3. Look at this one on the front. I am going to take all of this off to use for a project and then keep the sweater to give away uh, somebody. It's a beautiful sweater and it's just going to be missing all of the bling. <laughs> Look at, I'll just show you like that. Isn't that pretty? So I'm going to be using this for some uh, stick pins, for some uh, collar pins, and I thought that was good. And then, I'm going to move this up a bit, I want to show you this. I always look for lampshades because I'm going to do these lampshade projects. So did they have lampshades today? Look at this. Uh, all, even in their plastic. I have to show you. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the satin on that. These were, she charged me 50 cents each, and they're new. It's just beautiful. Got that one, and I'm running out of space in here, I'm telling you. 
and look at 50 cents. Um, there we are. And I got this one. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to bling it out and put some uh, flowers on it. So I got that one. And then I got a small and a large one of these. Like there's the inside, like this. And look at the outside of this. I have to take it back like that. Isn't that sweet? Look at the uh, satin print on that one. And that's a nice size. I'm going to do something else to this one. But they're new. They're 50 cents each. So that was really good. And then look at this, this one here. Isn't this just shabby chic here? This one was $4, but I thought it was worth it. Um, the smaller ones were $50, but look at the inside satin on that. Can you see that in the light? If I go like that, that bronze satin. Isn't that gorgeous? So I got that today. This morning I just ran out to pick up a few things at Walmart and I ended up at the thrift store and then I ended up at another store and oh my, yes. And then for $2, I thought this was kind of neat. It's called the Magic Stitcher. You know me. Um, I got the handheld one, but this one I thought would be nice for making flowers. All you do, I stood there and read it, is you um, take this off. It's vintage. You put, it has your needle right there in the bottom end of it. And then your thread runs through there. And it has directions to just, you know when you have to loop the ends. So all you do with this is you just take it through and keep going like this. Then pull on it. It gathers your flower. I'll do a tutorial on that. But that was in, um, it says light as a feather. And it is. It says basting, small stitches, overcasting, uh, tailor tacking, smocking, decorative stitches, applique, and shearing. So this is, was $2. So that there, I picked that up. And I'm running out of space. Oh my. And then uh, this was 99 cents for these. And I thought, I'll think of something. It's brass and it moves. It's a corner something. It's got little screws in there. But I thought for mixed media, I have two of those. So I picked that up. And, hmm, completely running out of space. And then um, the other things I bought at the uh, office supply store because I needed an electric pencil sharpener. But, uh, oh, and I got some, uh, I always pick up one of these when I'm at Walmart as well. They had them on sale too, 20% off. So I got some pouncers. So that was my little haul for this morning, my one hour haul. And now we'll go on to the bow doll. Now, the reason why I couldn't get this thing at first when I watched the video because of the way the camera was, I just couldn't grasp it. So I have a friend, but I kept at it, and I have a friend that um, couldn't get it either. So she asked if I would do a tutorial once I got it, and I said I would. So look at all these bows. I mean, with our Stampin' Up! ribbons. They're just beautiful. Look at this. This isn't a uh, Stampin' Up! ribbon, but look at that teal. This is, a tr this is a triple ribbon. That's a double ribbon. This is a four times ribbon. Bow, I'm sorry. And that's with our um, uh, seam binding. Our beautiful seam binding. And more of those. And then you can make the small bows and I'm just going to go ahead look at them all tiny tiny bows I don't want to get out of the frame here even tinier little bows look at this thing so I think it's uh, really well worth your money and let's get at it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this at an angle where you can see it and my friend can see it when she watches this okay so, let me turn it like this a little bit so you can see how you've got it set at 3 inches, 3 inches at the front, 
five inches and six inches at the back. And we're going to work on a double ribbon, a uh, double bow. It's one of those things. I really jammed this uh, tightener down in here, but it comes with everything. The nice 13 inch ruler, pink scissors, put your, uh, th your ribbon down through here. And so let's do the teal again. This is pretty. So what you do is you make sure you have about five or six inches on your left hand side. So I'm going to work with left, okay? Put your ribbon behind the, the back uh, tabs, bars here, your metal bars. So you're going to make a figure eight. In order to do that, you take your right hand, you go through there. Make sure that you can see this. Okay, I'm going to make it just a minute. I'm going to come over this way. There. Okay. I have to work sideways, but that's okay. So you're going to come through that. You're going to go to the back like this. Come back through here. But once you get up here, you're going to want to come to the front. So you're in between here. And this is your figure eight. Then you're going to go to the back. Then you're going to come to the front and go in between there like that. There's your next figure eight. And what it is is just an X. If you have an X there, you're doing it right. Hold the, keeping the cut end in your left hand, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go to the back, then in between this one, then go in between this one. Okay, I just need to get some more uh, ribbon. There we are. Then you're going to bring it to the front, then go behind. Bring it to the front, go in between like this, and then you always want to end up, there's another one, so let's do a triple one. Go to the back, front, back, and now I'm going to end on the left. Both of your strands like this should be on the left hand side like this, okay? And then you're going to take the one that's not cut, okay, the one you had in your right hand, and you're just going to bring it over like this, okay? And it's behind you now. See it behind me? I'm trying to look at the camera and see if I have it. That's behind me. Now, I'm going to see if I can do this. This one in your left hand, go back there. And once you're back there, it's crisscross. This one, this is over top of this one. I don't know how well you can see that. Just go like this. This is what's going to make your C-lock. Take this piece, go under, and then from behind, I'm going to show you like this. You're going to cross that right-handed ribbon, the one that's attached. Bring it up and through the hole like that. And here's your C. This is your locking C at the back. Okay? And let me just turn this around like this. So once you did that, you're just going to pull it like that, okay, and make it as tight as you want, and then cut off your tails like that, bring it up, and there you have it, a beautiful triple bow. Isn't that nice? Just got to work with them to make it look pretty, bring that down, okay. So there's this one. Now, I'll show you quickly. I'll do a double one really quickly, and I will just do it like we're looking straight on with this, okay? And then I think I'm gonna probably run out of time. Let's try the small one. The small one's really easy. The small one, you're gonna take it to the back like this. Let me see if I have that in there, in the camera view. Okay, so you're gonna take this to the back like that. Can you see that? And then you're going to, with the cut parts in the left hand, you're just going to make one um, eight, like a figure eight. Take that to the back, bring this piece over just like it did before. This one is really easy. Then it goes over top of the uh, right hand side ribbon up and through and just make a knot. There you have it. And that's that locking knot. It's going nowhere. And there's your cute little tiny bow like that. Isn't that pretty? 
Okay, so then we can cut this off and maybe I'll do a small double one. I'll add that to my 500 bows over there. Okay, so we'll put this over here and here's the last one quickly. I want to make sure you see that. Okay, so here we go. You put them behind, then you want to make your figure eight. So you're going to go in between those two, go behind, in between these two, go be in between these, come back to the front, go behind the front, bring it forward, go in between again, one more time, in between the left side, in between, and then you're going to end up over here on this side. Once you get there, bring it over and hold it. Now it's over here. Take this, le uh, your left hand, and just criss cross it. Just cross it. This is where you're getting that C lock. Bring it over like this. And once it's underneath how you like it, all you're going to do is run it through like this. Tie your knot. Pull it over to where you like it. Tighten that off. There we are. Lift it up. And there's your gorgeous double bow. Oops, there it is right there. Isn't that pretty? Okay, I hope this is useful. Um, if you're trying to do it, just watch it over and over again. You will get it. It will come to you in time and there it is like that. Okay, thank you so much for joining me and I'll go download this and we'll get on to our vellum flowers. Have a blessed evening.